Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is practice solving and graphing inequalities. Now, this inequality reads that 7 is less than or equal to the product of 4a. Now, notice that the variable a is on the right-hand side of our inequality, and you are probably more used to seeing that on the left-hand side of your inequality. So what you can do if you feel more comfortable is to take this value on the left and this value on the right and switch them around. However, you should note that if you decide to do that, you have to take your inequality symbol and reverse the order. Okay, now what we have to do is isolate our variable a. And because we are multiplying it by a number, we have to do the opposite of that operation, which is to divide. And we have to divide 4 by itself because anything divided by itself is 1, so that leaves us with positive 1a. And on the right-hand side of our inequality, we have to divide by 4 as well to balance things out. So we already have a solution. A can be anything we want to as long as the value is greater than or equal to 7 quarters. Now we have to construct a number line and show where are all of the values on the number line greater than or equal to 7 quarters. So we're going to go ahead and construct a number line rather quickly. So let's just say that this is negative 1 here. Let's say that this is 0 right here, and let's say this is positive 1 and positive 2 will give us enough numbers for us to use on our number line. Now what I'm going to do is, between each one of these whole numbers here, is break them into quarters. Because our answer or solution is 7 quarters, I want to be able to show where quarters lie on our number line. All right, 7 quarters is located right here because this spot is 1 quarter and 2 quarters, 3 quarters, 4 quarters, 5, 6, and 7 quarters. And in this situation, we must darken in our circle. Whenever your inequality includes an equal sign, you must darken in the circle because the number that's directly underneath the point is one of the possible solutions that would work. Kind of listen to how it's read. A is greater than 7 quarters or equal to 7 quarters. Now, if this was only a greater than sign, then we would have left this circle unshaded or hollow. Now we have to show where all of the values are greater than 7 quarters. So we start here at 7 quarters, and all possible solutions include that point in everything that extends to the right of that point. Okay, let's go ahead and try another example. Okay, so we have an inequality that reads negative 5 times r is greater than 25. So what we are going to do is figure out what values of r multiplied by negative 5 would give us a product that is greater than positive 25. So the first thing that we have to do is take our coefficient of negative 5 and turn that into positive 1. And anything divided by itself is positive 1, so we divide negative 5 by itself, and we do the same thing on the other side to balance out our inequality and we cancel out these negative 5's, and that gives us positive 1 r on the left. And on the right, we have 25 divided by negative 5, which is negative 5. But we must be careful, because whenever you are dividing by a negative when solving an inequality, you must reverse the order of your inequality symbol. So we're going to go ahead and reverse that greater than sign and turn it into a less than sign. So now what we have to do is graph all possible solutions where r is less than negative 5. So we're going to go ahead and put a negative 5 right in the middle. All right, and in this direction, the numbers get larger. So we have a negative 4 right here, and negative 3 would be next. And below negative 5, we can put a negative 6 and a negative 7. And that's really good enough for our purposes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and draw a point right above negative 5. And we have to leave it hollow because negative 5 is not one of the possible solutions. If there was an equal to as part of our symbol, then we would shade it in. And all of the values less than negative 5 are located to the left of negative 5. Okay, let's go ahead and try one more example. Now in this example, notice we have a variable on the left-hand side of our inequality symbol and on the right-hand side. So we're going to go ahead and move all x's on the left-hand side. So the first thing we're going to do is take this term right here, 3x, 
and we're going to get rid of it by subtracting it from the right hand side and we have to do the same thing on the left hand side. So now that gives us 7x minus 3x which is 4x on the left. We still have our minus 5 over here. And those are not like terms so we cannot subtract those and we're going to go ahead and cancel out these terms because that's 0 and we still have positive 4 on the right hand side. Now we're going to take this minus 5 and add 5 to it so that can produce 0 and we're going to add 5 on the right hand side and 4 plus 5 is 9 and on the left hand side we have 4x and now we have to divide this side by 4 so we can turn our coefficient into positive 1 leaving us with positive 1x and on the right hand side we have to divide 9 by 4 so that leaves us with 9 fourths or 9 quarters. Now if you were to rename 9 quarters as a mixed number that would be 2 and a quarter. Now let's go ahead and graph our inequality x is greater than 9 fourths. So what we're going to do is start by putting a 0 right here and a 1 here, a 2 here, and 3 is going to be large enough because our answer is just a little bit bigger than 2. So we have positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3. And I'm going to go ahead and stick a negative 1 right here. All right. Now our inequality symbol does not have an equal to sign. So right where 2 and a quarter is, which is located right here, we're going to go ahead and just put an open-ended circle. And all of the values greater than 9 quarters would be located to the right. All right, so I just showed three examples of how you can solve inequalities. So a couple of things to remember. If you're ever isolating your variable and you have to multiply or divide by a negative number, you must reverse the order of your sign. Also, if your symbol has an equal to as part of the solution, make sure that you shade in the circle 